Hey everybody, welcome back. This could be a quick video. I just want to show you a couple updates I'm doing to my 1962 Mooney M20C. The first thing is the installation of these Aero LED LED navigation and strobe lights. I decided to buy these Aero LEDs for the Mooney because I have Aero LEDs on my Zenith Cruiser that I'm building and the lights are absolutely amazing. They, are, they literally will hurt your eyes if you look at them when they're on. Now when I built my RANS S6, I used a low cost, cheap LED lights for the wingtips and every time I would fly with my buddies they would always ask me if my lights are on because you, they just, you can't see them during the daytime. Whereas, of course, the Aero LEDs are about the best you can get, and they're super bright, and you can see them during the daylight. So, I just want to do a little upgrade to the Mooney and put these lights on the wings. So, these are the original lights that you're all familiar with. It's got regular incandescent bulbs and the strobe that requires the big power supply located in the back of the fuselage. These are the beautiful new Aero LED LED lights. Removing the old lights and mounting the new ones is actually very simple. There's only one screw that holds these lights on. So after you remove this screw, you can kind of pull everything apart. We're going to take out the green lens. And then there's three screws that hold this base plate to the wing. Remove all three of those screws and Aero LED provides a new mounting plate that fits perfectly into the existing holes in the wing. So you don't have to drill any new holes at all. Here's that new mounting plate. As you can see, it, it is designed to fit the three existing holes. So it's just a quick matter of screwing in all three of the countersunk screws and mounting the new plate. And with the new plate mounted, you simply put on the light, slide it back until it locks into position, and then there's a little set screw that goes in the back, and that's what holds the light tight to the plate. And I think you would agree that these look a thousand times better than the original lights. So I wanted to show you what this looks like with all the lights on on the airplanes, the lights off in the hangar, and nighttime outside. original old school aft facing white light that I'd eventually like to replace with the Aero LED Suntail light. Maybe next year I'll get to that. And this is the original mechanical beacon on the bottom of the airplane that eventually I will replace with the Aero LED Sun Beacon 2. Alright now the next upgrade I'm doing is I'm installing this JPI 730 engine monitor. And by the way, what you're looking at on the screen here is just a printout I made on a computer. Uh, so the biggest thing with installing this is deciding where to put it. I originally, I took out an old instrument here that doesn't get used. And I originally mounted it here, but it just didn't look right there. It looked big and clunky. Then I mounted it here because the needle on here doesn't work. The only benefit to this is digitally down here it indicates DME distance so I took this out mounted it here and I did like it there but I kind of wanted to have it also over here with the engine instruments so I thought about making a new plate or panel here and putting it here and then I wound up actually the RPM was up here the manifold pressure was down here so I took the manifold pressure put that up here took the RPM over here and I mounted this one right here. It still doesn't look great where it's at, but in the future, I plan on adding 
two G5s to the panel and the Garmin 335 or 375 or 175, one of the GPSs. And when I do that, I'm going to completely remake the panel blanks. So I'll remake this one, and in the whole right side, I'm gonna remake this one because they've got circuit breakers just kind of thrown everywhere. You can see here, they've got this other little panel here where they put circuit breakers. They half-ass added this uh, uh, cigarette lighter. So it'd be nice to put all the, the circuit breakers up here on the panel and redo this whole panel. So that's the plan for the future. So for right now, I decided to mount the JPI right there. Well, my Moody project is really coming along nicely. When I first bought this, I only bought it a few months ago. This is November, I bought this in May. I've already updated the transponder to a Garmin, which has ADS-B. I've installed the LED nav lights and strobes and I'm putting in the JPI right now. I do want to add an autopilot to it, and like I said, I wouldn't mind having two G5s and a Garmin IFR certified GPS, but what I want to do is I want to fly this airplane for a year or two and really kind of see how I use this airplane because if I fly it mostly just for local flights, there's probably no point in putting money into G5s and an IFR GPS. But if I find that I do a lot of cross countries in it, then it might be worth investing some money into it. I do want to be careful though because I don't want to put so much money into this airplane that it's worth far more than what I can actually sell it for. But who doesn't like upgrading their airplane and buying cool stuff? So we'll see what I eventually do to it. That's all I got for you now. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I do have more videos coming on the Mooney, the Zenith Cruiser, and the uh, Kit Fox that I'm building also. See you next time.